What's up, Pisces, and welcome back to the Fly Empress Tarot. This is your full moon and Mercury retrograde reading. This reading will not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We're going to make this reading short and sweet, okay? We're going to be covering what's your energy that's going to be around this time. We're going to be covering where you are on your soul journey, um, what's going on regarding love, what's going on regarding your career, and what's the outcome, okay, you guys? So the first oracle card I pulled out was Door to Romance in the Reverse, okay? So a lot of you guys, I feel as if you, you don't been hurt by a lot of people, okay? A lot of you guys are still having a hard time of opening up or letting someone into your heart. You feel like the people that you let in your heart, that they don't fit with you, like they have toxic energy, and so a lot of you guys, you closing off your heart to people. I feel like this could be family. This could be friends. This could be romance partners as well, like new opportunities. A lot of you guys have closed yourself off to this. Um, that's where your energy is at. You're looking at how bad you done been hurt by people. Okay, yeah, Ten of Cups. We got Ten of Cups in the reverse. A lot of you guys... Um, you feel as if a lot of people done backstabbed and betrayed you. A lot of people wasn't who they said that they were. You feel like these people painted illusions in your life. And for a lot of you guys, you feel as... I feel a lot of relationship off of this Ten of Cups. You feel um, emotionally unfulfilled at this time. It's like, you guys, you're ready for a family. You're ready to receive some type of happiness in your life. But you, you're you afraid of being betrayed. You're afraid of people hoodwinking you, bamboozing you. Okay? Yeah, spirit, show me what I need to see. What else is going on, spirit? Ooh, too many. <laughs> yeah, like I said, okay, so we got the seven of wands. So a lot of you guys are feeling uh, very guarded. You feel like you had to put yourself in a bubble, like you had to block yourself from this. A lot of you guys jumped into your career and your passion to get over um, what you done lost or to get over this betrayal. It's like you guys decided to jump out of your emotions and to jump more into your passions, to your creativity. And you're just feeling very guarded at this time. Yeah, it's like you guys painted your own world. Like you're living in your own bubble, in your own world at this time. You're choosing not to look at love. Yeah, you're choosing not to look at things that's done hurt you in the past. You still haven't released this from your life. Spirit, what else is going on here for the Pisces? What's the energy, Spirit? What's the energy? Okay, so Ace of Cups. A lot of you guys are taking time out to love on yourself, okay? You're giving yourself the love that you need at this time. A lot of you guys are trying to heal yourself from old wounds. But at the same time, it's like you're not releasing this. You're still very guarded. But you do want true love. A lot of you guys are waiting for God to send the person that's right for you. And so until you receive that, you're guarding yourself at this time. Okay, so as far as your soul journey, we got the defense in the reverse, the jellyfish is in the reverse. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you put up a lot of walls that has blocked you on your soul journey. And you guys are starting to see this. You're starting to see that um, a lot of people don't stung you. They like really really hurted you some of you guys could have been dealing with a scorpio pisces or um cap cancer um here and here because a jellyfish that's water so when i think of jellyfish i think of water some some of you guys you really been stung by some people here in your past it's like you're trying to let it go but it's hard for you guys to really just face this okay these people could have been very defensive to you in the past they wouldn't open up. They didn't let you in. And I feel like a lot of them was guarded with their heart as well. These people don't went through things in their life. Spirit, why is the fence in the reverse? Why is the fence in the reverse, Spirit, for the soul journey? Okay, fool. 
So a lot of you guys are ready to get moving on your soul journey because you've been stuck, you've been stagnant, you've been really focusing on the pain, okay? A lot of you guys have been focusing more on the pain than the lesson that you learned from these situations. Sorry about that, Pisces. But yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be moving forward on your soul journey. A lot of things I feel like that hurt you in the past, you're trying to let it go at this time. The Five of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you you guys are tired of being in your head regarding this situation. It's like you're ready to be free from this. You're realizing that this is holding you back. Spirit, show me what I need to see. Give me an ooh, Spirit, too many. Okay, yeah, you're going after your nine of pentacles here. You're going after uh, what you deserve, what feels you. And I feel like a lot of you guys are really focusing on your finance at this time. But it's like you're having to let go of some type of mental conflict here in order to get this abundance that you want at this time to you guys. But I feel like spirit is guiding you. Um, what's going on regarding your love, regarding your heart here? We got flow. So a lot of you guys, you've been trying to go with the flow of things. You're trying to open up your heart again. But it's like you don't know what direction you should take. Okay, you don't know um, how to receive this love that you want in your life for a lot of for a lot of you guys i feel like you've really been tapping in the spirit you've been working with spirit you've been working with your angels and your spirit guides has been helping you to open your heart again and you're trying to get back into the flow of love because you've been so caught up in your finances here it's like you put love on the back burner here spirit show me what i need to see why it's flow here spirit Okay, so we got the nine of wands. All right. So, yeah, a lot of you ready to be. Um, a lot of you guys are ready to. I feel, I hear it spice up your, your life, especially your sex life. You're ready to get back out there. You're ready to um, feel energetic, to feel renewed. Okay, you're ready to feel confident again about yourself in regarding love here. We got a lot of orange in these cards. So a lot of you guys, I feel like you working on your sacral chakra at this time, balancing your sacral chakra here. Spirit, give me another card. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, because what you had in the past, it didn't fulfill you emotionally or someone here broke their promise with you. And I feel like that's that really sought you back regarding love. You felt like love can be trusted. Okay, so a lot of you guys, like I said, you moved from this emotional um, energy more into your finance. Okay, seven of cups in the reverse. Yeah, you feel like the people that you dealt with in your past, they wasn't good options for you. We had a card to turn up in the deck. And you guys are looking for your king of cups. You're looking for somebody who's going to be balanced. Somebody who's going to be stable in their emotions. Okay, somebody who's caring. Somebody who's wise. Somebody who's devoted. Someone who's going to be loyal to you. Okay, Somebody who's going to be affectionate. You, you're looking for this. Yeah. Wow. I feel you, baby. I do. Okay, so with the career, we got um, hidden truth regarding your career. So it's things about your career that you guys aren't facing at this time. There could be blockages in your career or you feel like you're in a stagnant place regarding your career. But the truth the truth of the matter is, it's something that you're not choosing to see at this time, Spirit. Why is hidden truth here for the career for Pisces? Why is hidden truth here for the career of Pisces? Mm. So we got the Four of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are refusing to see that you holding on to whatever baggage that you guys been holding on to. And I do feel like um, this could be regarding love. This could be regarding past pain, past hurts, betrayal. You've been holding on to this, and this has been holding you back in your career. Okay, so your energy 
could be showing up in your career and that's what's holding you back. And spirit is asking for you to have some balance at this time. Spirit is trying to bring balance into your career. A lot of you guys need to balance your, your shadow and your light side here. Because a lot of you, I feel like you've been dwelling in a negative energy. Or you've been dwelling on things that you have lost. Or the pain and the conflict from the past. And spirit is asking for you to balance that at this time. What else, spirit? Give me another card. Okay, so we got the page of wands here. And it's in the upright. So, yeah, a lot of you guys are ready to get back to feeling um for a lot of you guys you're ready to get out there you're ready to um release this toxicity from your past because i feel like you've been in such a tight mood like you've been very blocked or you've been very like guarded towards people and you're ready to be more playful more active at this time okay a lot of you guys, you, you're ready to have more fun in what you're doing. I feel like a lot of you, whatever you've been doing, it's done got kind of boring or it's the same old, same old, or you feel like it's no forward progress, but it's because you've been holding, you've been holding things within you that need to be released and spirit wants you to balance that so that you can go after this new adventure, this new this new way of life, this new way of thinking. You guys really want to renew. Um, you want to renew yourself. You want to have fulfillment in your career. You want to enjoy what you do. Okay, a lot of you guys, you're, you're ready to be, feel more of yourself at this time. Okay. Because like I said, a lot of you guys have been holding on to things that you need to release. And you're just ready to have fun in what you're, what you're doing in your career. It's like it kind of got boring and stagnant. Yeah. So the outcome, you guys, we got shadow in the reverse here. Number 18 equals to 9. So I feel like you guys, you could be coming out of the dark night of the soul, okay? A lot of you guys are, are have been reflecting on on a, on things that has happened in your life, and I feel like you was in a very dark energy as well. With the page of swords here, it's like you got some new idea, you got some some type of enlightenment that came to you. Okay, I feel like spirit has been guiding you, has been showing you what you need to do. Spirit is going to be showing you what you need to release, what you need to heal. And a lot of you guys could be taking up a new project as well. Divine Holy Spirit, give me another card for the outcome. That flipped over and flipped right back. Give me another card, spirit, for the outcome. For the Okay, so a lot of you guys, you're choosing to move forward. You're choosing to move forward into a better direction. You're going to be making better decisions for yourself as well. Okay, and I feel like you're happy. You're going to be happy once you get out of this energy. Because like I said, I do feel like a lot of you guys are leaving um, the dark night of the soul. And this is going to be pushing you on your path here. Seriously. Oh, too many spirit. <laughs> okay, well, we got two. We'll take these two. So we got the Wheel of Fortune. So good karma is coming in for you guys. I do feel like this is going to be a new beginning. A lot of you guys are going to be happy. You're going to be uh, very prosperous. And I do feel like you guys, you could be having a new relationship that's going to be coming in to you guys. I do see you, your, guy, your money is going to be looking good as well. Okay, but whatever energy that you was in, that this energy is going to push you on the path that you need to be on. And then we got the Empress. So, yeah, a lot of you guys, you're going to be very fruitful, very abundant. Um, I feel like you're going to be taking time out to nurture yourself, to care for yourself as well. And I just feel like spirit got a lot of good it's going to be a lot of good energy that's going to be coming in for you guys. I do feel like you are going to be very successful. 
for a lot of you guys because you're going to work on your patience. You're going to be working on balancing yourself too. But you're going to be very abundant here, you guys. So don't give up. I know this is going to be some tough energy to go through, but it looks like you guys are going to have a really, really good outcome here. All right, you guys, that is all I got for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. Please like, share, and subscribe until we see each other again. I love you so, so much. Bye.